Woof. Now what we need to do is fast travel back over to St. Anne because we're going to go over what else is new here um, around St. Anne in Season 3. Because there is lots new that is going on in uh, St. Anne in Season 3. So let's... Let's get started with this. Okay, so we're going to check out what's new in St. Anne in Season 3. We've already gone over um, the Helm Empire overview, what's new there. We've gone over what's new in the store in the Smuggler's Pass. Let's go and see what's going on in St. Anne and with the Black Market and what's new here. So here's Yanita. Let's go talk to her real quick. Let's see what she see has. You. So, nothing new here. This is all stuff that we've previously had. But let's see what's going on in the black market because I do believe there's some new stuff there. So, here's a new thing, and this is cool. I really like this. You see these items with the little hourglass? These are all um, items that will rotate after so much time. Does this tell? Yeah, in 10 days and 10 hours and 50 minutes, this will change to something else. The, we'll get new items here, but right now, for 15,000 uh, pieces of eight, you can buy Dardanelles. That's pretty nice. Um, you can buy Ballista Works, you can buy uh, Fatana Station, and you can buy Royal Custodian Blueprint, which is kind of cool. Um, I haven't bought that yet because I may or may not buy that. It's not like I plan on building a bunch of those but right now i'm saving some of my pieces of eight so i can upgrade manufacturers as we get them you can still buy the legacy caches uh, you can still buy all of these specialized materials which you'll still need and all the other materials here you can still buy these important which has the specialized materials like casting sand lime wood tar cogwheel and then also crude salt peter shellac screw mechanism sea glass You'll find out in a few minutes when we go over something that if you've ever noticed some of these materials like Time to most everybody has Why tons of saltpeter, tons of screw mechanisms, like thousands of them, but you only get a little shellac and sheet glass. It's harder to get. And same over here. Um, what is it? Cogwheels and lime are plentiful. Wood tar and casting sand, not as much. You'll see why in a few minutes. Uh, but let's see what kind of new weapons we got because we do have some new stuff out for sovereigns. And here's the first one right here, the white jade. Now here's a place where the the controls, at least as I use them, changed for me this time. Now I'm clicking the left mouse button on here. It doesn't buy it. It doesn't do anything. It selects it. In the past, I was clicking the um, the space bar to select this and when you had your um, mouse right here you had to try and sneak your mouse along here to not accidentally select anything else well now it's just a straight up select maybe maybe something reset in my keyboard or maybe the programmers actually changed something I don't know but I like the way this works because I can select this and now go over here and look at what it does without accidentally selecting something else so this new white jade for 350 sovereigns is a healing culvern, <coughs> a repair culvern, basically. thing has 130 weapon rating, which is awesome. So it does this. It has shared supply, which means hits on an allied ship will also repair the nearest allied ship for 75% of what you just repaired the ship that you hit with. Nice. And it has repair too. Um, so your repair per shot is 1,500. That's what this thing does. So it'll repair for 1,500, and then the next closest ship, it'll also repair for 75% of that. So uh, not sure exactly how much that is. Somewhere, what, 1,100, 1,200, somewhere in that neighborhood. You get the, you get the picture, though. Um... 
The next thing on the sovereign uh, for sovereigns, I'm really, really interested in this one, uh, even more so than the stuff in the Smuggler's Pass. Thousand Year Monsoon. This is a bombard, and it has something called deluge and flooding too. Now, this thing has a 15% chance to deal 2,500 severe damage and that chance increases to 30 percent if the ship has the flooded effect and so these give a 20 percent flooding damage so these can flood you to begin with and so you just get that much more chance to get severe damage when you get flooded they also do explosive now what's interesting about this is if you pair this uh, with the um, artillery weapon, or what would you call mortar, um, trying to remember which one it is, basically it's the one that causes flood, the Leopold 3. You pair this with a Leopold 3 and you hit somebody at long range, you almost automatically flood whatever you hit with that darn thing. And then you start blasting on them with these things. Uh, this would be this might be a good alternative if you've got that Leopold 3 on your ship this might be a better alternative even than the um, Dardanelles so something to keep in mind these look very interesting so I want to get a couple at least a couple of sets of those the next thing up is also very interesting this is our first mortar we've got in the game that deal that deals fire damage. So this is Crouching Tiger. It's got a 58 rating. Does good damage. Uh, it does has the taunting. It does blast and burning too. So I'm thinking there's a good chance that on my sandbuck, I'm going to replace the rockets with this thing. Very possibly. I'm not 100% certain on that. It may not apply to all cases, but since this thing has such a good fire chance and all, and the taunting, I'm thinking about putting this on the sandbuck or anything that I've got that's a fire build. I think this would be very useful. So I'm really interested in getting one of these, getting a couple of these. Um, what else do we have that's new? We have... So that's your new weapons. We have this spiteful spike station furniture. Um, this is a major furniture, by the way. So basically, when you uh, hit a weak point, you get a 25% chance of reducing the repair effects on the target by 75% for 15 seconds. So, I mean, I can see the use of it. Uh, don't know if that'd be better for PvP, maybe? Preventing somebody from getting healed? I don't know. Uh, but there are other, um, like the uh, Chorus Fleet, they usually have a ship with them that's healing the others, so might be useful for that. Uh, it does increase damage to weak points by auxiliary weapons by 10% and reduces the reload time of auxiliary weapons. So that's really good if you really love your auxiliary weapons. Um, not sure yet how useful the weak point um, reduction of repair effects is going to be. That's Jury's out on that. Somebody else may have a better idea uh, than me on that. Uh now, we also have this minor furniture that is emergency sales. This is very interesting because this increases your trim speed by 10% when you're pursuing an enemy ship, which is going to be really useful for ramming builds, which might become very viable this season from what I understand. Uh, it also increases your charge rate of torn sales. So I can definitely foresee... Uh, your brigantine or whatever ship with a, that you have with a ramming build with your Skurlocks long nines on the front. When you're running wide open chasing somebody down, you knock, you tear their sails and then just ram into them at full speed. That's going to be interesting. This may end up being a very useful piece of furniture. Um, now, there's uh, 
this is something that everybody can look through on their own but there are new pieces of uh cosmetics in here that are for sovereigns and such um but you can look through some of those on your own uh, i won't go over most of these in detail we do have a um a feline hunter captain cosmetic and we do have um like a, a claw inside of a fire ring for a, a firework i believe we've got these dragon you know the dragon thing here for sovereigns the f probably have some other new stuff i don't see any new uh blueprints but one thing i do see is a new armor the celestial dance let's see what this does so lightning stream bracing charges a lightning attack that will chain up to four targets and deal a maximum of 1600 electrical damage per target um, the longer bracing is held the more powerful the attack and the further lightning will reach now so that means I, it would really be helpful if we knew how long you had to brace to charge this thing up to 1600 damage because 1600 sounds like all you can get but you can do 1600 to four ships and like I said the the longer you charge once you charge up 1600 you should also be out to maximum range so that's interesting it remains to be seen how useful that will be the armor values are from what i've seen compared to other armors or so so it's 1150 and you get a little bit for everything here but no real uh, high values piercing and electric are the two highest but still might be useful for something that we don't know just yet so there's one of the the first bit of new stuff in saint anne that's your black market and the new stuff but oh folks there's more new stuff going on Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see notifications of future videos, just ring the bell. Until next time, Tater Dog says, woof.